I wanted to try something a little different. In the following presentation, I'm going to read to you a script that I wrote as concisely as I could possibly muster. Therefore, there are details that are not included that I hope you will derive through simple context and deduction. The damage covering up recovery of an alien machine thousands of years more advanced than us can't be quantified within even a year's time. It's so profoundly damaging to society on every level that it will require decades of deliberation to even begin to comprehend the cost. I believe that if this cover-up happened, it was justified by extending more credence to the risk of revealing this discovery than to the risk of omitting it. Unfortunately, it's plausible that this is exactly what the alien intelligence wanted and the very intelligence apparatus responsible for preventing adversaries from interfering with their nation's development and way of life fell victim to an operation that while appearing incidental was actually intended to influence a cover-up that has extended until present day. Nobody can deny that once the truth finally emerges, that it will change civilization forevermore, including how humans perceive their governments, each other, and the laws that governments must abide by. The malleability of mankind will never be as easy. <laughs> There is a profound irony that when a government seeks unwarranted control over this issue because they fear how humans will respond to it once they know of it, that this very logic will inevitably facilitate a complete restructuring and transformation of society as we know it. It would be akin to those that know they will be arrested for a future crime, ensuring that the architecture of future prisons facilitates their escape and the owners of the prison systems being led to believe these are the ideal blueprints for their structures. There are multiple factors that may have led me to producing this video. They may have been coincidental or not. Unfortunately, I'm not so convinced that UFO crashes are incidental. In fact, I've always been slightly concerned that uh, they're a result of an operation to ultimately interfere with the development of human civilization. Now, maybe it's for the good, and maybe it's not. Nevertheless, would you want your destiny in the hands of something outside of your species? Well, we can debate that. But still, the question remains, would you? One of the likely triggers for this video is this tweet that I published on 2.35 p.m., August 7th, 2021. One of the biggest shams of our age is government agencies, organizations, thinking it's appropriate to lie about UFOs to those they serve. Sooner or later, there will be a fierce pushback by the public on this perspective. And it won't be pretty. I think the ethical skeptics tweet under this tweet may also have influenced the production of this video. This information is not the property of any government nor extra governmental entity. It is the intellectual property of mankind and cannot be withheld by technicality. Sequestering such information is a God action, the organization or entity declaring itself God over humanity. I generally think that if you are to play God, you should probably be God. Because if you take certain matters into your own hands that are entirely ridiculous and unnatural, you're liable to have unintended consequences, and in this case, <laughs> fall under the influence of an intelligence much, much more advanced than you are. Finally, a video produced by the YouTube channel Alien Girl 111 and a sentiment 
made by a guest on that show, Kelly Dodge, may have contributed to the production of the video you're watching now. Kelly, what about you? <laughs> What's your favorite YouTube slash Twitter person to follow? All right. So you know what the one who really reeled me in is UFO Jesus. Mm, oh, he's, and he's good. I, yeah. I smelled yeah. the musk. I was like, yes. I mean, I lo lo absolutely love his videos and how he articulates things. That's like, you're like, okay. Yeah, he's good. Very, very good. But he's not doing enough. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to call him out right now. And I have called him out. You can go back to my other tweets. I'm like, dude, people are dying for your content. Well, I don't want anyone dead as a result of a lack of content. Now, I would likely not have been aware of this video if it wasn't for a DM that, now I always get his name, pronounce it wrong. Let's see. Kikala, Kikala Jallo gave me. And by the way, Kikala Jallo, it's August 7th of 2021 and it is your birthday. Happy birthday, Kikala Jallo, Kikala, Kikala Jallo of UFO Twitter. Sorry, Kikala, I, I'm bad at pronouncing your names and you have an awesome, your name is so awesome that I can't even pronounce it. Finally, unlike my own country that apparently believes that even when those they serve want the truth, it's still okay not to give them what they want. Kind of like a dictatorship. I, on the other hand, listen to those that I serve, as it were. I took a poll on Twitter. Should I publish a short video on my channel tonight that makes no sense? No, too much noise, 18.9%. Do it, you idiot. 81.1%. I'm much more in favor of a democracy over a tyrannical government, but then again, that's just me and probably the vast majority of Americans. But who cares what the Americans want, right? Government should just decide for us. It's the American way. In some respects, as applied to the UFO subject, sadly, it has been for quite a while. The last thing that I wanna say is what if Roswell is not the only event? <laughs> what if there's multiple crashes? Well, if I'm in possession of mind-bogglingly advanced artificial intelligence and I want to outsmart the talking monkeys, well, I would just put in that program, outsmart talking monkeys, beep, and I would follow the algorithm to a T. If that mean, meant multiple crashes, so be it. If it meant one crash, so be it. If my objective was to get a government to cover something up and lie to their own countrymen, to reveal inherent flaws of the human condition, of human evolution, of human ideology, so that the world could evolve in a positive direction, well, I might as be inclined to do that. Now, at this point, someone would say, oh, oh, so, so you do believe the aliens have our best favor, our best intentions at heart. I don't know. I think reality is often much more complicated than that. I don't like the binary tendencies of the UFO community. I wouldn't make any assumptions. This is just a thought exercise at best. But I, if I was running the government and I became suspicious that something was awry and I was falling into the dictates and influence of a much more advanced civilization, the first thing I'd probably do was a resort, would be to resort to honesty. Because now we get rid of such an artificial environment. Now we allow the natural order to ensue. And perhaps the natural order is more difficult to manipulate than an artificial order. And what could be more artificial 
than having within your possession smoking gun evidence of a non-human intelligence and allowing the world to be ignorant of that truth. That's about as artificial as it gets. And I suspect an artificial playing field is more advantageous to manipulation than a natural one. That's my take. <laughs> I don't have to say it, but this is the weirdest video I've ever made. In fact, I feel weird right now, like I need to go take a shower. And if you've looked at my hair, I really do need to go take a shower. And that's exactly what I'm going to do after this video. And hopefully, I'll stop talking in this weird, weird voice as well. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video.